What's good everybody and welcome back to my channel, Smoking and Grilling with me, A.B. Now you know it's that time of the year, right? You done already read the thumbnail, so you know what I'm doing, right? You done already seen the, 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 the succulent beans and all of that, right? But look, this year I'm gonna show you guys, especially those who, you know, like if you new to this, you know, we always wait for grandma to make this. What I'm gonna do right now is take the mystery out. I want you guys to come on here and take a look at this right here. Man, if I don't tell you this is Black Eyed Peas Southern Style 101, it's just really that easy, right? So look, I've already pre-soaked my beans, right? I already pre-soaked them. You know, I cleaned them, I rinsed them twice, and then I go ahead and cover them over the top. I leave about one inch over that, and I leave them for about, I leave them overnight. They say about eight to nine hours, but I just set them up and I leave them overnight. Right here, I got an onion. We got chicken broth, butter, and then we got salt and pepper. Real simple, but this is where the flavor comes. And then for those of you guys that ever made this and you're trying to figure out how to thicken it up, I'm gonna show you how to mash it and do all that. Right now, I feel like I'm doing a lot of over talking because listen, when I tell you this is easy, this is easy. Oh, and guess what? We're gonna do it in a Dutch oven. Hey, with that being said, let's go ahead and get it. Okay, so look, what I did was I just got myself a, that's up to you. You can go ahead and put dice in there or you can chop this up and do it fine, but I'm gonna show you a little shortcut. You see, look, I got a grater. You can see it's got all the different sides on there. But look, we want to go with the bigger size like this. I'm just going to grate it like this. This right here is going to give me that fine, what I'm looking for. And the reason I didn't use a paper plate on this one, folks, you know what? Because I want to get all of the onion juice, everything it has to offer, I want to get it. I don't want it to soak in no paper. Okay, so you guys come on here. You guys can see. When you grate it, look how fine it gets. That's what I like right there. And again, this is just reiterate why I wanted to use a, you know, a plate, right? Because look, all of that juice right there, that's going inside of there with that butter. Hey, so we're just going to leave that there. I'm going to set this here. Now, go ahead. Let's put some heat under the bottom and just get this Dutch oven going. Ah, yeah. Loving it. So once this heats up, right, it's going to melt this butter. Boom, butter going in. Real simple. And when I tell you taking a mystery out, because a lot of people ask me to make these type of dishes. And when I tell them like, man, it's super easy. You know what I mean? Uh, so that's why this video is going out right now. And then don't forget, it's really the timing. Because I want you guys to let me know down in the comment section below, why do we eat black eyed peas and when do we do it? It means something. Let me know down in the comment section below. All right, so look, completely melted, right? Now we got a little heat, you can hear it sizzling. I'm gonna go ahead and add all of this goodness from that onion. We wanna get it all in there. You can't really tell, but I can tell you this, butter and onion turns out so nice. You can see a couple of pieces that wasn't quite grated, but that's okay. Okay, so look, the, my onions, they almost ready, right? So now I'm gonna go ahead and just measure myself. I'm gonna get four cups, right? There we go, we got four cups. Now, first thing I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna take this, I want you guys to come on in here and take a look at this. So all I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna add this now. Right, this is my four cups. Now you guys can smell, can imagine the aromatic that's coming off of this, right? Chicken stock, right, onion, butter. Oh, the goodness coming from this. And then look at the color. That right there should tell you that's a whole lot of flavor. Right, so now we wanna go ahead and bring this up to a boil. I'ma raise my temperature up a little higher. We're gonna get this up to a boil. Once we get into a boil, then I'ma go ahead and add whatever meat you guys wanna add. Now look, I'm using smoked turkey, right? You can use smoked, these are, this is a wing. You can use the drumstick. You can go with ham shank, whatever. I think tur smoked turkey is more universal for everybody. Okay, so there we go. That's what I wanna see, right? Now, I'm just gonna go ahead and put in whatever the meat that you guys have, you add that. But for me, you know, right now, obviously, I'm using a smoked turkey, you know, leg. Excuse me, smoked turkey wing. So look, the next thing, after you got that in there, look, it's gonna come back to a boil, right? So now, let me just address this before I add this in here. Look, I pre-soaked my, uh, my beans, right? Did that overnight. You, a lot of times we decide we gonna have beans, no matter if it's, you know, black eyed peas or pinto or whatever it is. And you know how we supposed to soak it the day before. There is another method. It's called the hot flash. All you do is boil your water. Once it starts boiling, you turn it off, add your beans inside, put the top on your pot, and you let it soak for one hour. 
That's the same thing as soaking them overnight. But these have happened to be, I had a little pre-thought. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and add this to that. We've already sorted and did everything, right? So we just put them in here. I'm gonna wait till it comes back to a boil and then I'm gonna set it to a simmer. So just let's just give it a minute. Let me put this on top. And then I wanna show you what it looks like. And that there, with about four hours, after we do this for about four hours, I'm gonna show you how to make something, you know, super delicious. Hey, even make your grandma proud. Okay, so I can hear it, it's boiling, right? Now, I'm gonna go ahead and set this. I wanna set this down. We just wanna simmer, which is like a low heat, right? Just like you see. Now I'm gonna go ahead and go under the bottom, make sure nothing's sticking. You know, cause we did, I rushed it. That's what I did. I just rushed it to get it back to a boil, right? So, nothing sticking down there. I'm good with that. Uh, it smells great already. I mean, that's an understatement. That's like the best word I can think of right now to tell you how it smells. But you see that right there? That's where we want it to settle in, just like that. Now I'm gonna set a timer for just two hours, but we wanna keep it in here for at least four hours, right? But I'm gonna set a timer just for two hours and I'm gonna come back and take a look at it and you know, see how it is and adjust my heat, but we wanna keep it nice and low. So look, my timer went off. I had my timer set for about three hours and 45 minutes, really, to be honest with you. So let's look at it. Now I looked at it halfway through it, you know, right at the two, two hour mark, right? When you look at that, I kind of like broke some of this off. I want you guys to see this. Now I use that smoked turkey, right? So this right here, we're gonna have to work in here and get this out. But I just want to show this. You see how it's starting to thicken up? Now there's two ways you can do this. I could take about a half a cup of the beans out, right? And then I can put them like, I usually just put them in like a bowl, you know what I mean? And then I just mash them all up and then I pour them back in there. That's one way to thicken them up. But when you cook them nice and slow and low like this, that's how you get this. This right here is right. Now, I want them to thicken up just a little bit more. So I got the top off. You can do it two ways. First, you can, let me get this off and then I'm gonna show you. You can either vent it or you can just cook it down, you know, with the top off. But right now, what I wanna do is, I'm gonna put some gloves on and we're gonna take out that skin. Okay, so look, I just got myself some tongs, right? We just discarding this. So you just get yourself a plate, you know? I just roll it back and forth, but you see this right here? Ooh wee, that's that goodness. This, that bone. You know, I wanna get all of this. Of course, we wanna get that out. Actually, I'm gonna be honest with you, I'm gonna leave the bone. I let the bone stay in there you know, just till the end. But this here, if I got, if I can get a little meat off of that, I'll take this, because this is what everybody really want. But I'll work with this once I get done getting all the skin out. So, I already explained to you guys, you can like, uh, like vent it like this, cook it down a little bit more until it, you know, thickens up, or you can cook it with the top up, off, if you're gonna stay around. Now, if you guys come on in here, you'll see, look at that right there. This is how I like mine to be thick like this. You know, it's up to you how you want to do it. And then I want you to notice, look, you see that meat right there? That's a whole lot of flavor. You see that? And then the only thing left in here is the bone. I'll get that bone out. But right now, I just want to plate some. My mouth is watering. You know, I got my, my cornbread ready. And I'm about to dig in, folks. This right here, you can look at this bowl right now and you can see that it is a huge bowl, right? How many of y'all could eat a, you know, a bowl of these black eyed peas? Look how big that is. Hey, but listen, I'm gonna go ahead and attempt this. It's up to you guys. For me, I like my beans like this. You know what I mean? It would be a real, real treat if I had myself some rice. And why am I just now thinking of that? But anyway, I got that cornbread though, folks. Hey, so listen, I'm gonna go ahead and taste it. I already did a couple of them. And when I tell you they fire, they fire. You know what? This would be something grandma would be proud of. Right, so I'm gonna just hit it like that. I want you guys to take a look at that. You see how thick that is? You see that steam coming up off of it? Nice and hot. And guess what, folks? Cheers. Mmm. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Hold on. That's it right there. And you wanna talk about food, taking you on that, uh, doing the time travel thing? Look, that takes me back to when I was a kid and my grandmama had the whole house smelling like this right here. Hey, all I can think about right now is having some greens. I don't even know what kind of protein I would have, but the greens right now, black eyed peas and this cornbread, look. And then for those of you guys that are down south or really know how to get down, and some sweet tea too. You know, okay, so let me talk about this. 
when I put the chicken broth, or whether you're using stock, but whatever you're using, you want to use it on the low sodium side, right? If you do it that way and make it this way, it depends. If you guys are using pork, you're gonna get, you know, you're gonna level up the salt intake with that. You know what I mean? So it usually balances out just right. But since I use smoked turkey, I use the low sodium, you know, chicken broth, right? What that does is, it depends on how your, your palate is trained. For me, it's just right. For some of you guys, listen, I would suggest you make it this way, and then you let each individual bowl, that person decide whether they want to add salt to it. But for me, and like a lot of other people out there, listen, we watching our sodium intake. That's what makes these right here, you know, like over the top, because they, you know, as about as healthy as it can be, but it's good ass, you guys know the rest. So, if you're new to my channel, let me just take this time to say, hey, thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, smash that subscribe button, and I want you guys to tell everybody out there, it's a channel out here that's simplifying these recipes and taking the mystery out of cooking. I can't help but keep looking down right here, because I promise you, I'm gonna make a dent in this, and I'm out. Peace.